next. It's a lightweight bout between Connor, Notorious McGregor, and Crusher. Crusher coming off a great training camp and feels outstanding. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, and land hard strikes to get the victory. Crusher enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. Conor McGregor set to fight Crusher. For this, our main event of the evening, Crusher is six years his elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. And once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. The moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! All round in the UFC lightweight division. This is first fighting at the blue corner. This man is a monster, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighed in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, Russia. And now, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Man, Joe, we have been waiting a long time for this one. It's finally here. Conor McGregor, Crusher. Here we go. Five, five-minute rounds. Make no mistake about it. Well, he's taking some punishment here early, Joe. Shot to the body. Oh, stunning jab. That's a big hook. Now they're turning it up. He continues to score with his strikes. They clinch early. He lands a hook from the clinch. And another hook by McGregor. Oh, he clipped him there. 
Punisher's got him in the plum clinch. Joe, everyone in attendance tonight might actually be Irish. Listen to the support for Conor McGregor. Powerful knee to the head lands. job of stopping that ground and pound. In half guard now. Just over three now. Here's a little piece of trivia for folks who don't know. The reason why you're not allowed to do a downward elbow, 12 to 6, is because when they first brought mixed martial arts to athletic commissions, the people in the commission said, well, you can't let someone do that. I saw people break bricks with that on ESPN. <laughs> in reality, there's really very little difference between a downward elbow or a 45 degree elbow or, or what have you. Vicious Huge elbow. elbow lands to the head. McGregor's unable to pass. He's got full guard here. Gets to half guard. That eye is going to be grotesque. Nice sweep. He's got half guard. He connects with an elbow to the body. Back to side control. Transitions. Arm triangle attempt here. He got out of the arm triangle. Side control. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Trying to finish this fight. And he gets out. That was a close guillotine. Now he's inside control. He's looking to take the back. Kind of amazed the referee hasn't decided to stand these guys up. Seconds now remain in this round. He's moved to full guard. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Working from full guard here. Slides him over and nice reversal here. Man, he can do a lot of damage from the crucifix here, Joe. Secures nice right, right. position. Job, Round man. one comes to an end. Here's a big leg kick. And here's a powerful shot that almost ends this fight. Here's a perfectly placed leg kick. Listen, that was awesome. You really hurt him there. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Be smart, but aggressive. The stunning Brittany Palmer. Okay, ready? Now 
two, you ready? Second round. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. And he's throwing that left hook with ill intention. Nice punch. Late kick. Oh, there beautiful combination. Oh, right into the midsection. Nice body kick. He connects with the head kick. And again. Big straight punch. He caught it with the head kick. Vicious shots to the body. Big shots. Powerful left hand. Hard straight punch. Oh, wow. Look at, look at the finish. He's in big, big trouble. Oh, my. Oh, and he lands the head kick. Looking for the arm bar. Can he finish his fight? He's in full mount here, and he's looking for the arm bar. What he wants to do is, first thing he wants to do is secure the arm, tie it up. Then he wants to, he got his arm free. Beautifully executed sweep. Swelling. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. He postures up and delivers a big shot to the body. He's able to get back on his feet again. Good defense with the parry. That takedown attempt was stuffed. And he lands with the left. is aware that his opponent's hurt, and he's looking to get... Whoa! Big head kick in this way in the fight. Reversal and in a half guard. Oh, that one hurt him. Full guard here. Passes, moves into half guard. Good transition. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. And he's back in the guard. Man, he really timed that sweep. He's in half time. Under two minutes now. Oh, beautiful sweep. Trying to take the back here. He's got his back here. From, uh, from a flattening out position, when you got a guy face down, you can really hurt him with that position. Working from his back again. Crusher's got the full mount again. Took the back mount. Solid punch by Crusher. He's back in the full guard now. Great movement on the ground. And he turned it around into full guard. movement on the ground. He's got north-south here, Joe. Just 45 seconds remain in the round. And he's going to try to take the back. Joey's got his back now. 30 seconds. Now he's mounted up. And back up again. Looking for a takedown. Crusher gets caught by the kick to the midsection. Hard one. Whoa! Oh, big shot. Big oh, right hand. Huge right hand. 
Round two comes to a close. Crusher's nearly knocked out there. He was lucky the round came to an end. He certainly is lucky with the timing of that. He got hurt very badly at the end of that round. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. The lovely Ariani here tonight at Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. You ready? Let's here we go. Fight. Round three. Comes out swinging. I saw the cut when it was first open, Joe, but it's really swelling up quickly. That's a big hook. Oh, man, that leg kick did some damage. Oh. Oh, big body kick. Oh. What an exchange. Big straight punch. Good combinations. Beautiful body shot there, too. Underhooks here. Pummels out of double underhooks here. Good body shot. Head kick. And he's down. Hard diving punch. Oh, he's back on his feet. in that jam. Trying to grab the leg, and he does. And he lands a single leg takedown. Big shot with the, the huge left. left. Side control. Nice movement on the ground. He's moved to his back now. Half guard. Under three now. Nice. Crusher's in half guard again. The swelling on his eyes is starting to get really bad. Joe, they get up. Misses. That's a nice punch by McGregor. He changes stances and switches southpaw. Oh, that's a vicious kick. I like that, Mike. I like how he's mixing it up. Oh! Wow! Oh! Crusher gets him in rubber guard. Done. Great work from the bottom by McGregor. And again, he gets back on his feet. Man, big strike. Oh, head kick. Big kick to the lever. He's stunned. He's hurt to the body. Big takedown. Crusher's looking to advance to half. Solid right hand. He's got.
shot to pull Mountcho. McGregor's trying for a submission here. Almost had the armbar. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Very good shot. Nice transition to the top. the mount again and great posture oh, wow that was a big left hand he connected with oh he's got an arm bar he's got the arm here now he's gonna throw his leg over and the end of the round crusher's still alive surviving a submission attempt late in that round that was a very very close submission attempt at the end of that round and here we see some really technical offense with submissions. And here it is from another angle. Listen, if you don't start doing something to protect that, the referee's going to stop this fight. I need you to... Ariani. Fight's scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Man, that right eye is really looking strong. Fainting with that kick. Good slip and counter by McGregor. Joe, take a look at the numbers last time. Submission attempts. He is keeping very busy in his grappling game, looking for the finish. McGregor gets caught by that right. To the body. Good right-left combo by Crusher. Wow! Oh, head kick! Hard straight punch. Back in fourth battle. Big power jab. Great job blocking that huge knee. Oh, that's a strong Muay Thai plum flinch. Nice knee to the body. Wow, what a huge block. They're working hard here in the clinch. Matt Joe, that was a hard leg kick. Goes for a single, and he gets the takedown. Crusher's got it back in half guard now. Staying busy on the ground. Right into guard again, Joe. He's got his back now. Three minutes. And he winds up on top. Crusher's back in half guard. Nice sweep right into half guard. Crusher gets it back in his guard. He's taking his back now. Nice sweep. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. Great He's position. He's got him mounted here. Posture's up. Nice. Look at this. He's out of it. Inside the guard again. He's now working from half guard. Under two minutes now. McGregor gets it back to the guard. Oh, looking for his back. He oh, scores with a huge hand. left. Get that back position for me. Hard left hand. He's got 
Both hooks in. Him. Joe, this is dangerous. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. He's moving into full mount. Now able to posture oh, up. This is ugly, Mike. Oh, and the and fight is, is over. over. TKO, very impressive. It was a vicious TKO from ground and pound strikes. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here from another look. These are clean shots that are getting in over and over again, ground and pound for the TKO finish. And let's check it out from a different angle. Bruce Bumper has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliato has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, the no Notorious McGregor, winner by TKO.